John, we're live. At this time, all sergeants, please start recordings. PC started. Thank you. Into the cloud, all set. Thank you. Backup is rolling. Thank you. And good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing for the Committee on Governmental Operations. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video for verification purposes and please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Cabrera, we are ready to begin. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. I am Council Member Fernando Cabrera, Chair of the Committee on Governmental Operation. I want to start off by thanking the members of the committee joining us today. Today, the committee will be joining, will be voting on two pieces of legislation. Introduction number 2257, sponsored by myself, will require the Board of Standards and Appeals upon issuing a decision affecting the use of a parcel land to have a copy of that decision recorded in the county in which the property is located. This will ensure that BSA decisions affecting property in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx will be available in the automatic city register information system. Decisions affecting property in Staten Island will be available in the electronic recording system maintained by the Richmond County Clerk. The committee previously heard this legislation on Tuesday, June 8th. The BSA needs this leg legislation in order to improve its transparency, and I urge my colleagues to vote aye on the bill. The second bill will be, uh, the second bill the committee will vote on is proposed introduction number 2313A, sponsored by council member Idanis Rod Rodriguez, which will create an office of ethnic and community media and place certain requirements, requirements on agency advertising spending. The committee previously heard this legislation on Tuesday, June 8th, where we heard from many representatives of ethnic and community media outlets. We are so grateful for the work these tr trusted messengers do tirelessly communicating critical and relevant information to New Yorkers from all walks of life. In the last several years, multilingual campaigns conducted by the city have become the norm. We saw this with the initial ID NYC rollout, and most recently with the city census campaign and COVID-19 rapid response in 2020. Since the, mayor, since the mayor directed the agencies to spend at least half of the advertising budgets on ethnic and community media outlets, in the second order 47 of 2019, the city has substantially increased the advertising spending in this type of outlet. In fiscal year 2020, the city spent $9.9 .9 million, or 84% of its total advertising dollars, in ethnic and community outlets, a dramatic improvement from only 18% spent on community media advertising in 2013. The mayor's executive Order 47 is widely seen as a resounding success, and I am pleased that we are voting to codify this executive order by voting on proposed introduction 2313A. I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of this legislation and guarantee the city's continued commitment to ethnic and community media outlets. Councilmember Rodriguez has been a long advocate for immigrants and limited English proficiency communities in his district and across the city, and I commend him on this legislation. Thank you to Councilmember Rodriguez for this legislation. I also want to thank our Green Team committee staff, CJ Mary, Emily Forjum, Elizabeth Cronk, Sebastian Bocci, and, and I want to thank my legislative director, Clark Pena, for making this hearing possible. And I will Turn it over to my colleague, Councilmember Rodriguez, to say a few words. Mr. Chair, Councilmember Rodriguez is currently not on at the moment. Okay, no problem. So with that, let me turn it over uh, to the clerk for a vote. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on governmental operations, proposed introduction 2313A and introduction 2257. Both items are coupled. Chair Cabrera. I vote aye. 
Levin. And we'll come back to council, to council number 11. Council member Kalos. I at all. Thank you. Mizell. Yes. Perkins. Councilmember Perkins, you're muted. Oh, yes, sir. Has it been unmuted? Yes, you're unmuted, Councilmember Perkins. So is my vote, did my vote go through or should I? Have I, I, I did not hear you. Can you please restate? Oh, I own all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Powers. I own all. Jaeger. I on 22.57, no on 23.13. Dharma Diaz. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Council Member Levin. One moment. Council member eleven. I vote I. Thank you. Moment, please. Okay, by a vote of seven in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions, proposed introduction 2313A has been adopted by the committee. And by a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, introduction 2257 has been also adopted by the committee. And Mr. Chair, we are awaiting one more member. Okay, so we'll leave the, the roll open. Uh, until such time our fellow colleague uh, comes in. Who's missing at this point? Councilman Rodriguez. Rodriguez, okay. And we have them connecting now. Can you call Councilmember Rodriguez, please? Councilmember Rodriguez. Yeah, should I speak now? Yes, sir. Thank you. And I would like to start out by first thanking the Speaker Corey Johnson, a Brooklyn Board President Eric Allen, Council Member Oswald Felix, and Chairman Cabrera for their support on intro 2313, which will establish the mayor's office of ACNI and community media. Also, I'd like to thank my whole staff, you know, the Jeff, Jason Goldman, Chief of Staff, the Speaker, and everyone that works in this legislation has also and my, my chief of staff, Elizabeth Conforme, my legislation person, and, and Evelyn Collado, my communication person, Tomás Garita. During the highs of the pandemic, there were many communities who were left in dark because of the, the city failed to proper, properly advertise and communicate the safety measures set in place by city and state in various language and working with the local media. But this is not something new. For many years, 
our community being so dirty when it comes to those places in underserved community. However, how are is the city educating you know the resident? How is the city connecting the resident who live in, especially in the poorest neighborhood, about the information and resources that we have? Has not been something a priority to connect with the local and community media. There are over 200 languages spoken across the city and hundreds of ethnic and community media outlets. We must work with all media to ensure we're spreading important information in all languages to all New Yorkers, not only to those who speak English. And one of those New Yorkers, 35% born and raised in another country whose English is not the first language. However, people like me contribute a lot with our taxes and contribute in different uh, shape and form to the development of this city. This bill is a huge win for our local media. It will require all agencies to devote 50% of their advertising and spending, including on print, digital publication, television, and radio outlets to ethnic and community media. I thank my colleagues again, the Chairman Cabrera, and again, Speaker Corey Johnson for all his support and especially thank you also to Brooklyn Board President Eric Aden, with whom it was a, I started discussing this bill from the beginning. This is gonna be a big day for all New Yorkers, but especially those who've been providing their services in media, in, in radio, TV, digital, printing, and the city has never invested any data to them. So with that, I definitely support this bill. And should I vote aye now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then with that, I vote aye. Thank you. Final vote. Proposed introduction 2313A is adopted by the committee with eight in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. And introduction 2257 is adopted by the committee with nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Uh, Mr. Chair, that is a full committee. Thank you so much. Uh, and with that, we conclude today's hearing.